In this video, I'm going to show you why you are having such a hard time finding cleaners. By the end of this video, you will understand not only why you're having so much trouble, but how to make it easy so you never have this problem again. But before we get into that, my name is Mike Mack and I help everyday people build automated cleaning businesses so they can get their own financial freedom. I'm also the author, I've written this book, it's an Amazon bestseller, Pick Up Cash, Not Trash, The Ultimate Guide to Building an Automated Cleaning Business Without Getting Yourself Dirty. I've made it available so my subscribers can get it for free. Click the link in the description. You can get it for free. Just cover the shipping and then it's all yours. All right. Now let's get into what you've been waiting to get into. All right. What I'm going to talk about now, it's going to sting some people. There are two types of people struggling with this issue, right? There are the people who are honestly just struggling and they're just trying to figure it out because they don't have any experience recruiting and maybe they're new to it and they just don't know where should I post? Should I post here? Should I post there? Where can I find cleaners? And then there's the people who are kind of develop this weird, just this anger towards people saying they don't want to work. Nobody wants to work. Everyone's lazy. Let me tell you something right now. They just probably don't want to work for you. The dirty little secret is most people suck at recruiting. Yeah. So this idea that people don't want an extra part-time job, it always escapes me. It escapes me when people arrogantly say, nobody wants to work. I'm beside myself with that. And I see it all the time. I see it in Facebook groups. I see it in like on messaging forums where people are just crying and complaining like, oh, you can't find anybody. Really? Then how come every time you go to a Target, a Home Depot, any one of these bigger stores, a supermarket, no, you don't see the, like the owner of those places saying, oh, you can't find cashiers. You mean to tell me that that's the better part-time job? than where somebody can go privately and go clean an office, like a clean office at night, take out a little bit of trash, clean some counters, mop some floors. You were gonna tell me that somehow that's a job that's just impossible to staff, but oh yeah, everyone's lining up to work at Best Buy. Again, it just doesn't make sense, and that's what this video is about. I'm gonna climb into the three things. If you're doing one of these things, then chances are people just don't wanna work for you. So you have to switch this immediately and watch how your results switch. All right, before I get into the first thing, I just need to calm down. Chill, Mike, chill. All right, all right, all right, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I get heated about this sometimes because uh, sometimes people will like develop like a learned helplessness and when you are overconfident that you know that it's not that I'm bad at something, it's that other people suck. I just hate that mindset, all right? So I'm chilling now. The first thing that you need to stop if you want to hire easy and effectively is terrible pay. Terrible pay to me is minimum wage. Minimum wage, and it's not like, oh, so your idea is just pay like five dollars more no not at all actually and believe it or not it doesn't take that much we just go a dollar over minimum wage and then we give you a scale then there's a few dollar scale that you can earn your way up and the idea is you come in start with the company and you you're making a dollar over minimum wage so there is a little bit of a status increase because when you work minimum wage there's a psychological thing there i mean if you've never worked minimum wage before i have just knowing that you are working minimum wage again it's just a status thing so let's go a dollar above that and let's give a scale and let's show people a clear way to earn their way to max out their cleaner way that's why you're having struggles if you're paying minimum wage i mean you can't blame somebody it's like no i don't want to do this every day for minimum wage again nobody wants to work for bad pay so knock that off immediately the second thing that's holding you back from finding great cleaners is weak hours let me tell you what weak hours are when we first started we were just getting account here account there account there account there whatever we can get we were getting the problem was they were all small and it wasn't until we landed our first six thousand dollar per month account that was like six days a week when we realized like oh you know, this account accounts for all these other small accounts that we had to hustle for. So those other small accounts, the huge issue with that is when you go get a one time per week office or you go get a two day a week office, it is incredibly difficult to find somebody that's going to wanna carry your equipment around because chances are there's not a locker in these places for your equipment. Somebody's gonna wanna lug your backpack vacuum, your mop bucket, your mop stick that has to 
they have to put a seat down to keep a mop in there. You want them to make their car into the professional cleaning wagon for what, two hours, three hours per week? Yet yeah, nobody wants to do that. You have to ask yourself an important question. If you had a position where you just needed to get like 10 hours or something like that, and you wanted to make some decent money on the side, would you lug someone's cleaning equipment around to clean two, three hours a week? No, you wouldn't. And these accounts are your problem more than anything. Taking small accounts is your big problem. That's what's actually getting in the way guys really think about it it's hard when we become business owners we stop thinking about what it was like to work for a living but this is why you're having such a hard time get bigger accounts immediately <laughs> like start like or lumping them together if they're local and create a little bit of a root then at least it makes the juice worth the squeeze. Also figure out a way to put your equipment at each account but then again if you have a ton of little accounts how many vacuums are you gonna buy Gotta think about it like that. All right, before we get into the next one, I need you to do me a personal favor and hit that like button if you are enjoying this video, if you are getting the value you signed up for, then bam, hit that like button. I appreciate you. And the third reason a lot of people find it hard to find cleaners, it's so hard to find cleaners even though Target's filled, even though the movie theaters are filled. It's just, I can't find cleaners. The third reason is a lot of people, quite frankly, are lousy bosses. It is what it is. Some people are lousy bosses because that's just kind of how they are personality-wise. Maybe they think that, like, yeah, it is what it is. I'm out here, serial entrepreneur, cleaning business is just a little side business for me. Or maybe cleaning business is your main business and you just don't really vibe all that well with people. Well, listen, that's going to get in your way. Maybe being a leader is not your thing, it's fine. Maybe kick that over to your, you know, your significant other or bring somebody else in, bring a nighttime manager in that is very personable. These things will help you out because if you're a lousy boss, if you give off this energy that you're too good for your cleaners and, or if you say, hey, show up at this location, you know, everything will be there and make sure you do a good job or else you're fired. Who's working for that person? I mean, could you imagine? I couldn't imagine in a million years making these mistakes and then still blaming other people for not wanting these jobs. No, I'm sorry. You're not gonna change my mind until, like I said, all these box stores are empty. If I walk into Home Depot one day and then literally there's nobody there, then okay, I'm with you. Then I'll jump on that side of the table saying, it's so hard to find people. It's not hard to find people. You're making one of these mistakes, if not all three of these mistakes. If you correct these, however, you will cease to have this problem, okay? And then you can go back to growing your company so you're not stuck with a limited amount of accounts. And if you want to grow your company, then you're gonna wanna check out this new masterclass that I made. It's gonna tell you how to grow super Fast, but that's like 45 minutes. But if you don't have that kind of time on you right now, it's okay. I made this video how to grow your cleaning company super fast right here. Check it out right now.